more that you understand about yourself, the more you know about your own vehicle, then the better you can navigate through life and the better you can navigate through different environments and different situations. <laughs>Greetings, greetings. Welcome back to the Weekly Awakening. My name is Tarak Uday with Awaken Within. And today we're going to dive deeper into the series of the most common dreams. And the five most common dreams that I come across with people, number five is a sex dream. Number four is a snake dream. Number three is a dream being back in school. Um, number two is teeth falling out. And today we're going to focus on the number one dream that people have, which is either running from something or hiding from something. So if you want to learn more about dreams or even how to interpret dreams for yourself, a couple things that you can do. One, you can go and check out my book, Life is But a Dream, Understanding Yourself Through Understanding Your Dreams uh, you, by Taraku Day. You can find that on Amazon, and uh, Barnes & Noble, maybe even your local bookstore. Another thing you can do if you're interested is I have a mentorship program teaching people how to interpret their dreams. And this is more of an individualized, personalized way of ensuring that you learn how to interpret dreams. You'll begin with understanding dreams and, and learning dreams, and I'll interpret your dreams every day as you begin to learn them. Then you'll begin to interpret your dreams, and I'll just add to what maybe you missed or corrections or um, even more insight into the dream. And then, and then you'll start interpreting all of your own dreams, and then you'll inter start interpreting other people's dreams until you understand this language because it is a, a language that this, your, this message is coming in. And it's the language of the mind. It's your subconscious mind feeding you, your conscious mind, a, a, a message. And so as you begin to understand this language, then you begin to understand your dreams and you begin to understand so much more about yourself. So let's go ahead and dive into the number one dream that most people have, which is hiding from something or running from something. And so one thing, a couple things to remember about dreams is that every dream is about you the dreamer. And this is because every person, place, or thing in the dream is an aspect of your consciousness. And so if everything is you, then if you're hiding from something or if you're running from something, then that means that you're hiding from yourself or you're running from yourself. And not really like you're running from yourself, but you're not wanting to face some part of yourself. You know, and so then you then you want to get into deeper into what is it you're hiding from? What is it you're running from? You know, is it a person? Is it a person you know? Is it a person you don't know? Is it some dark, mysterious figure? Is it a monster? You know, this will give you kind of more insight. If it's, you know, some, some monster, then it's like a part of yourself that kind of scares you. You know, like, like for me, um, for instance, I used to, um, I'm a Taurus. And so before I got into like meditation and dream interpretation and and everything like that, and self-awareness, becoming, knowing more of myself, um, you know, getting more knowledge of myself, then I was, I was very bullheaded and very um, confrontational, you know, if confrontation came. And, but, um, and I would kind of like lose control sometimes. Like if somebody confronted me, I would like lose control and just, you know, <laughs> like confront them and, and very aggressively. And that wasn't really normally like me, but I was kind of usually scared of losing control. I would, I would, I would be scared of not knowing what I would do if you know when I lose control like that, and um, <laughs> and, and so that like something like that would come up in like hiding from or running like like whenever that instance occurs, then that night I would have a dream of like running from something or hiding from something because at the same time I, I wouldn't want. Afterwards, I would be like, you know, I would, in my mind, like that wasn't me, that person or that situation forced that, you know, that environment forced me to be that way. Um, I, I'm not, I'm not like that, you know, but I was like that. And so it very much was a part of who I was, but I wasn't wanting to admit it. I wasn't wanting to face it. I was wanting to hide from it. I was wanting to run from it if it came up, you know, and so that's kind of what it is. But that would like not knowing what's going on, like not knowing what it is that's scary. Like if I wasn't so, because I was still self-aware enough to know that that's what was happening. So for me, it was more just like people I didn't know that was doing it. It wasn't like a monster or some shadowy figure. But if it, but if for someone who doesn't even know what that is, but they just have that experience, but they aren't enough self-aware to know what's really occurring, then it might show up as a monster or a shadowy figure. Or um, if it's, you know, you're very familiar with that this happens. Like, like if, I was, if I was just like, yeah, that's who I am, it happens, you know, then, then it would probably show up as I'm running or hiding from someone that I know. 
you know, that's like that. And so, um, because people in your dreams are represent different characteristics of your own consciousness. And so if you're able to identify the person, if the person is familiar, then it's a part of yourself that you're familiar with. If it's uh, someone you don't know, then it's a part of yourself you're unfamiliar with. Um, but you can kind of you, you you can identify it, but you're kind of you're not really familiar with it. But if you know some people have dreams where there isn't a face, or maybe it's a shadowy figure, then you're not even able to identify what it is that's that's frightening you about yourself. You know, but essentially, what you want to look at when you have a dream like this is sit down and face yourself. You know, it's it's a part of you. It's part of who you are. Why would you want to continue going on not really knowing who you are? How can you know anything in life if you don't know yourself? You know, before you can know anything, you have to know yourself. And the deeper that you know yourself, then the deeper you can know things within life and how to move about life. The more you understand about yourself, the more you can navigate your life and and create what you're wanting to have and happen in life. You know, it's like if 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 the only thing I knew about a car was the gas pedal and the brake, and I didn't know everything else about a car, then I wouldn't really be able to go very far. Yeah, I could go. Yeah, I could stop. But if I didn't know about the steering wheel, I wouldn't be able to know how to turn and things. Or maybe I do know about the steering wheel, but if I didn't know about the mirrors, then I wouldn't know about what's going on around me. You know, So the more that I know and understand about a car, then the better off I can be. You know, if I didn't know about how oil works, then I might never put oil in my car and the engine sees up, you know, you know, five years, four years down the road, you know, not even that long, <laughs> a year down the road, you know. And so, but I understand how gas works. If I didn't understand how windshield wipers worked, you know, in a car, then when it starts to rain, then I would be fucked, you know. So the more that you understand about yourself, the more you know about your own vehicle, then the better you can navigate through life and the better you can navigate through different environments and different situations and, and things like that that come up in life. So strive to know yourself better and stop running from yourself, stop hiding from yourself and really take a minute to sit down and examine what's really there and be honest with yourself. Because, you I mean, you know, it's just you in this life. You know, what you're, you're, you're born alone, you die alone. They say, but I say you're always alone. You're always just with yourself. No matter if you're in a crowd of a million people or in the woods all alone. So don't run from, you know, understand yourself, know yourself, get to know yourself better. Spend some time with yourself. How often do we actually just sit down and have time just for ourselves? I'm not talking about, I'm going to sit down and watch TV. It's not really time for yourself. It's like not, it's not really spending time with yourself. And so, um, you know, meditation, maybe you're just contemplation, maybe just sitting under a tree. Uh, with the breeze and the trees and the sky and the birds and the animals and the grass, you know, spend some time with yourself. So I hope this video helps. Um, if you have other dream symbols that, you know, aren't in any of these videos, you know, shoot me a message, send me, leave me a comment. We'll see about getting that video put up. Uh, and as always, I leave you in peace. <laughs>